Okay, so today we'll be looking at uh, tutorial number two in chapter 10 of SOLIDWORKS. So here as you can see the diagram is given. Yeah, expected time for completion is 30 minutes. So compared to what uh, most of uh, most of the previous tutorials that you uh, have already accomplished, this is slightly different because uh, you can try to draw this in a 2D sketch mode, but the problem is you will have to incorporate a lot of uh, planes. So it's going to be very uh, troublesome for you to do so. Hence, we'll be looking at a new feature that SOLIDWORKS provides here, and that's uh, 3D sketching mode. So let's get into the diagram. So here, normally, uh, what I mean when I say 2D sketch mode is this. So normally, we have not really considered uh, this as an option, but here, what this says is it's uh, we're trying to sketch it in 2D or in one plane. Okay, so there's another feature if you select this icon you can see it says 3d sketch so if we try to draw a 3d sketch we can easily get uh, this chair so uh, what we want to do is we want to change this to 3d sketch and if you look at the step here so they have, they have just drawn the outline of uh, half of the chair and then they have used the uh, swept plus fe feature here to uh, get the circular outline so Let's uh, sketch this. So in three, uh, in uh, when you go to when you go to 3D sketch mode, you can see that um, every time you draw a line, you will find another axis. So let's say I selected this. So now it says XY. So I'll be constructing now in the XY plane. But in reality, I want this to be in the Z plane. I want to draw this line first since our origin is here, and it's going to be in the Z direction. So what you can do is you can click on the starting point. And now it's uh, since this axis is in x y direction, it's easier for me to draw in x y direction. But the problem is we want it in the z uh, in the z direction. So you can ch change that by selecting tab. So now as you can see, now we are in the y z direction. So now it's easier for me to draw in the z z axis. So you can change that again by uh, selecting tab. So now we are in the z x direction. So similarly, you can uh, change. So again, I'll select. Uh, y z direction and yeah, I'll just draw the outline of the shape and later I can introduce the dimensions so after I do in the z direction now I have to go in the x direction so again I'll select tab change the direction now I have the x direction I'll draw a line here now I'll have to draw it in the y direction so tab change draw a line upwards now I'll have to draw in the y uh, x direction. Sorry. So something like this, and again in the y direction, and now a line somewhere in between the x y direction. So something like this. So as you can see, at every point that we uh, finished constructing a line, you will get another axis automatically. So that's the advantage of having a 3D sketch if you want to draw this sketch in a 2d plane you'll have to introduce one plane for this line one plane for this line one plane for this and so on so that's going to be really time consuming so make sure that you know how to use the 3d sketch so after you do this here so you can go to smart dimensions this is going to be again f uh, make sure that your units are correct when you start drawing it's it's a MMGS, so make sure that you select the proper units before you start. This is going to be 40 millimeters. And you're going to have this as 100 millimeters. Make sure that these are all 90. is 85 this is also 85 this will be 60 so the angle between the y-axis and this line is going to be 20 it's given here so let's draw center line now we can just 
smart dimensions. It'll be easy if you draw center line. Again in the y direction. So yeah, this here will be 20. And the vertical length from the topmost point to the bottom is going to be 170. Again, so you can change the dimension type that you're going to enter by uh, selecting tab. Okay, so here initially when I selected the two points, from here to here you can see that the, the dimension is actually at an angle. So you can change that by selecting tab. So once I first select tab, now they're giving us the horizontal direction or distance. Then you can select tab again and now you're getting the uh, uh, vertical height. So here this is going to be 170 and I think you need uh, to fully define this sketch you need the distance from this point to this I think yeah So I made a small mistake here, I'll have to delete this, rename this as 20, and now I'll have to give the dimension again. Okay, so now the diagram is fully defined. So now we'll have to introduce the fillets. So you can select the fillet option here. So it's already uh, given as 10 millimeters here, so we need to select the entities to fill it. So you can select the two lines, you can select these two lines. So you can give all the uh, fillets at once, since all of these radiuses are 10, you can give all of them at once. You can select, okay. And there's another fillet here, uh, you can see that it's given as radius 50. So go to fillet. It's supposed to be 50. Select OK. Okay, so now that we have the profile or the outline of um, one side of the chair, so we basically have the outline of this. Okay, half of the actual model. So afterwards, what we do is since we have the proper fully defined diagram, we go to features, select swept boss. And it says circular profile. So here what we have is a circular hollow tube that's running along this profile that we have given. So we want to select circular profile and they're asking us to select the starting point. So not the starting point, sorry, the profile. So we can select this line. So automatically SolidWorks detects that this entire line is uh, belonging to the profile. And uh, just by selecting one line, the entire uh, outline is selected. So now we have a sketch with uh, 10 millimeter diameter, but the actual radius is going to be uh, 5 millimeters here. So the diameter is going to be 5 millimeters. So you have to change this to 5. And you can see that uh, it says the thickness of the pipe is 1 millimeter. So since there is a thickness here, we have an option here called thin feature. So if we were to select OK here, we are going to get a full solid uh, circular shaft running through. But uh, what we need is a hollow shaft. So to get the hollow feature, we have to select the, the thin feature here. And they've already given one direction and uh, one millimeter. So you can change the millimeter according to your requirement here. It says it's one millimeter, so we'll keep it that way. And you can select OK. So now you have one half of uh, this chair. So afterwards, what you need to do is you need to get the other half. So you can do that by using the mirror feature. 
yeah it's given here mirror feature so once you select mirror feature uh, it's uh, it already selects the uh, solidworks already detects that uh, you want to mirror the uh, swift feature here so again if this is not selected you can always just go down here and select it okay so you need the plane to mirror this about so what we need to mirror this about is the front plane I think yeah front plane so select the front plane click OK and there you have it so this is the full design for this is the final design of tutorial number 2 in chapter 10 So overall to summarize what we did, we uh, learned about a new feature called 3D Sketch and we also learned how to swap boss and ultimately mirror it but mirror feature is something that has already been done.